Hi everyone, today we're going to create a step-by-step -step peacock theme tutu dress for an adult. And we're going to create it with a crochet top by the yard. So that way we can customize the size to accommodate our purchaser. We're using blue, turquoise, purple, a little bit of gold, and hunter green in this tutorial. I'm going to get this all cut up and then we're going to move to our area where you can really see us put it together and go from there. Real quick, when we're making the crochet top, we're just going to hand sew it. Every time I try to use my sewing machine, I may be doing something wrong, not sure, but it catches, you know, because it's crocheted material. So instead, I avoid the hassle and I just create it doing it by hand. And this is basically how it turns out. And this is the nine in length. I haven't found this by the yard in 12 inches in length, but it seems to do the job because once we put all that tool on there, you're not going to have to worry about it being so high up. And of course, depending on uh, where you're going to start it at, where you're going to wear it, it won't be this high up either. Okay, but this is what it looks like when we sew it by hand. It's not 100% beautiful, perfect, but you can also add embellishments to it so that it's not seen. But I think I did an all right job. And it took a lot less time and less hassle and struggle and frustration doing it by hand than trying to run it through my sewing machine. If you're an avid sew if you are an avid sewer, please feel free to share uh, some insights so that I can utilize my sewing machine too. All right, let's get started. We're creating the peacock theme tutu in a dress for an adult. And I've cut my purple, my gold, my hunter green, my turquoise, and my blue. So let's go ahead and start placing it so you can get an idea of what it's going to look like. Now, the royal blue or primary color blue that we're using, we're just doing a scattering of it. Remember to double the length. And I've done the pixie cut. Hopefully you can see it. See? And this is shimmering purple. Now I'm going to stagger it just a little bit, not too much, say about an inch difference. See, Bring it together, squish the top that you folded as much as possible to make it easier to maneuver through the crocheted hole. Never start on this bottom string, okay, because this can break on you and render this useless or take a lot of your time repairing. Bring it through the crocheted hole, widen it with your fingers, bring the tails through, and gently tug down. Remember you don't have to tug real tight where you're making the knot impossible to take out, just enough that it stays. See? Every time that you create a slip knot, you're in essence stretching this, okay? So you don't want to press pull too hard and stretch it out because then you'll have a different size than what you started with. Now let's do some turquoise. Through the crocheted hole. Wind it with your fingers. Bring it through. Gently tug. Now, if you've got your water and fabric softener solution, keep that handy, especially when you're working with so many colors. You kind of just put a little bit as you do a layer at a time. If you've got that stiffening spray on one of my other tutorials, I was trying a couple of different sprays. A lot of people use them for your crocheted, I'm sorry, for your hair bows, 
to keep those bows stiffened. I am using them, it's more, it's just starch, guys. I'm using it on each layer of my tutus when I know that there's going to be a big event that people are going to, to help keep it stiff and without static. So I'll show you what it looks like with a little bit of that spray. And I will get you the names. I tried Alina's and I also tried one I think is called Mary Ellen's or Miss Ellen's. And it was just as good and it dries clear and it costs per ounce about half the cost of the Alina brand. Now, I haven't decided if I'm going to make a bustle yet, but I'm pretty sure I am in the back. Now, this tutorial I'm slowing down quite a bit, so that way any of you who haven't made a tutu before, you should be able to uh, utilize this to help you out. Now, for the royal blue, I'm just going to sporadically place it. Okay, so it's just going to be hints of it. Squish. Run it through the crocheted hole. Or pull it out like I did. Wow, having issues. Okay. Run it through. Look at that. If you run into this, just kind of move the tool that you're not working with to the side. Also, if you're working with a shimmering tool, one of the things that I keep running into is that if you cut a skinnier or a skinnier in width tool piece, it will have more static clean than your normal premium tool. But look how that's turning out. It's going to be gorgeous when it's finished. I want to share with you this gold. It is the closest that I have found to being gold in color and not beige or some mustard brown color. Now this one in particular is from Expo.com, ExpoInternational.com. Um, it's flame retardant and it costs a little bit more than your everyday tool, but I love the color and their customer service folks is fantastic. I wanted to find out before I made a big purchase because it's a little bit more expensive if this looks like what the rolls look like because you can order rolls of tool and then order the bolt same color and it's absolutely horrific in color compared to what you had on the roll. Totally different dye lot. Okay? And the customer service person was amazing. She went and to the warehouse area and looked at the tool bolts for me, compared it to the rolls that I've already seen in person, and came back to the phone and told me, yes, that they were similar, and so I was confident in making my purchase. Because paying shipping to return something is pretty expensive. All right, one last time, and then I will speed through this and then as we go along, I'll show you how it progresses. Again, fold it over. Squish that top part. And you're squishing it so it's easier for you to maneuver through the crocheted hole. Bring it through the crocheted hole. Out. Widen it with your fingers. Kind of make sure that it's still together. Bring the tails through. Now gently tug down. Now you don't really have to worry about these crocheted knots. These not crocheted knots. The tool knots, if they're not perfect, you don't have to worry about that till you get to the top layer because nobody's going to see those. Okay. I will keep going and then again show you sporadically throughout. Okay, one quick thing. I've got the first layer on. All right, you can see that. It's turning out really lovely. We're just going to keep going. But I wanted to mention this. 
Now it's a little crooked on my, or off center on my mannequin, but you get the idea. I've got the seam, then one, two spots, the seam, one, two spots, okay? And I left this part blank because what we're going to do is we're going to create it. And after we put the amount of layers that we want, then we're going to come back and go ahead and make the bustle. And the bustle is when you make it longer and it kind of like poofs out more. So for me, I'm a visual person. So I go ahead and put my tool on, leave the space that I want, and then I'll create it at the end. And I'll show you how we do that. All right. This is the Mary Ellen makes ironing most fun or almost fun. Anyway, it's called Mary Ellen's Best Press, the clear starch and sizing alternative. I'm not quite sure what they mean by that, but anyway, it's scent free. It doesn't leave a white residue, so it'll stiffen it up just a bit. Now it's not gonna, you know, turn it into mesh or anything, but it will stiffen it up some and help with that static clean, just like our fabric and water solution, but with the added benefit of the little bit of stiffening. And then this is Alina's Stiffen Quick, and it's non-toxic. Anyway, this costs less per ounce than this. So, and it works, I think, to, in my opinion, a little bit better. So I'm just going to spray it on my first layer. And I'm going to use my fingers, just like if you had a perm or you have curls. And I'm just going to smooth it out. And I'm going to do this for each layer. And that's it. And this is optional. Alright, we've got two layers. We're going to put another one. See how that goes. I'll probably put another one after this one for the simple fact that this is for an adult and I don't want her to have to wear a whole bunch of clothes underneath. You know, something light should suffice once we're all done here. Again, we're just doing the slip knot method, bringing it together. I'm staggering it just a bit, about an inch, inch and a half. I'm bringing it up a little bit longer the higher up I go because I want it all to be pretty long. Okay, so here we go. Squish it real well at the top. It'll make it a lot easier for you to run it through your crocheted hole. Bring it through the top hole right here. You're going to pull it through the hole right below it or right to the side of it. Widen this with your fingers, bring the tails through, and gently tug down. And that's it. That thing here in the background is our little new addition. She's on one of those swings that uh, you put on your door frame, and she really likes it. Uh, but it lets me watch her and make sure she doesn't take off because she is getting faster and faster. Now what we're going to do is we have plenty of leftover tool. So we're going to double up and this is one of the ways that you can do your tail or bustle if you will. Just take the tool that you've already cut and stagger it where it's quite a bit longer on here. We're taking our area that we've already separated. I'm going to kind of move the rest of the tool out of the way. And now we're taking that tool that we've already cut and that we have left and we're going to stagger it. Okay. And this is where one part of the tail is right here. And then this is the other part of the tail or of the tool. Now this is where you're really going to want to take it 
you see the problems I was already having? And squish that together, that folded area of the two pieces. You're going to squish it as much as possible to make it easier on you when you are trying to get it through that crocheted hole. Now widen it. Pull the tails through, making sure that your other tool is out of the way so that you don't mix it together. Okay. And like I said, I'm just taking, you can do this two different ways. One, you can cut a really long length for your bustle or tail. Or you can use what you have left, and that's what we're doing here. And this is an alternative, and it allows you to really use everything that you've cut. Okay. Again, squish that as much as possible. We're using two pieces, so we're going to squish it as much as we can. And then we're going to move the rest of the tool out of our way. And this time, I want to show you what we're doing. We're pulling it through, okay? And you can either do the slip knot method here along the seam, or you can do it a little differently and then just. Let me see if I can show you. Tie. A knot. Okay. And I'm going to bring this because I want this to be a lot longer than the rest. Okay. And that's it. And this is going to stay, so don't you have to worry about that. Again, I'm going to make sure that these are pretty close together, the length. Okay. And like I said, you can do this a couple of different ways. You can do the slip knot method. Sometimes when I do the slip knot method right here, what I find that I do wrong, or it's not so much wrong, it just seems fatter when I do that slip knot on the seam area, and then it kind of looks bigger than the rest of my slip knot. So when I do this, I don't have to worry about that. And this is not going to go anywhere, so don't think that that's going to happen to you. I have made many a tutu and never had the tool come off. All right, so I'm going to add the rest of these and show you what we have left. See how it's poofed out a little bit more in the back? See? So you'll be able to see it more precisely in the pictures, so I'll make sure that I give you a lot of photos at the end of the video. Be sure to check out part B so that you can see how we created the back of the crocheted top and some information on the front with the straps.